My name is Liz. Um, I'm 73. A mother of two grown up daughters. I've got a couple of grandchildren. I came to Australia as a baby. My parents were refugees after the Second World War. I grew up in Collingwood, which is a, was a pretty working class suburb back then. My family was very strong on being aware that there were people in the world who didn't have enough. They'd gone through periods of starvation themselves, so they understood well about that sort of deprivation. So I guess it was part of my upbringing. I watched my daughter parenting the two grandchildren and I can see how she, she, that she's also transmitting those values. And I like them to think, and I think they do think, uh, that there are children like them that don't have what they have. My parents had a deli and uh, we had on the counter of the deli, there was a collection tin and uh, it was for Community Aid Abroad, which was the precursor to Oxfam. When the tin was full, it was my job to take it to the Community Aid Abroad um, office where they counted out the coins carefully um, and gave me a receipt for it and gave me a new tin. So that was part, I guess that was my introduction to um, what's later become Oxfam. I'm leaving a bequest because I would hope that it would give um, a family an opportunity, whether it's for their children to be educated or whether it's for them to have medical help when they need it. I mean, people might wonder how difficult is it to leave a bequest and all I can say is it's not difficult at all. You write into your will what you want to and then when your estate is being dealt with by the solicitor, they will allocate that money. So it's no, it's, it's, it's no, um, no hardship at all. It's not complicated in any way, it's quite simple.